champ, Pedro Justice from IMO Sports TV. Now, after such a spectacular performance that you put on tonight, I know everybody in here is thinking, who's next, David Benavidez or Canelo Alvarez? Man, I want to I wanna unify. I want to unify. I want I want that fight with David Benavidez. All right. When he won that fight against Ronald Graville, he got dropped by Ronald Graville too. But uh, when he won that world title against Ronald Graville, I was standing at the bottom of the stairs. And before he could even get to the bottom of the stairs, I was standing there asking him, when we going to make this happen? And I don't see too many other fighters standing at the bottom of the stairs right after somebody wins saying, hey, when we going to get it cracking? And um, so I've been wanting that. I've been asking for that. I've been pushing for that. I know we're both young in our career. I know they're trying to build us up and turn that into a mega fight. But um, I'm a fighter. And uh, there ain't no sense in waiting, if you ask me. So we can get a cracker whenever. Thanks. I told y'all before that this fight wouldn't go 12 rounds. Um, thus far, everything that I've said has been written in stone. And um, everything that my naysayers have said has been written in sand. And um, I told you what I'd do to Porky Medina. They said he'd knock me out. It wasn't close. I told you I'd go in there and beat Jose Uzgatigi with the whole world bent against me, coming off a year layoff, a broke hand, no tune-up fight. I went in there and I dominated him. And I dropped him twice. We knew what I was going to do to Mike Lee. And I said tonight, it wouldn't go 12 rounds. Everything I said, you could take it and catch it. I mean, I don't really think much about his fight. I think he should take care of his business yeah, it's smoothly and easily. You know, I don't even know who Fighting Boots is. I don't know how he became the number one contender for the, t- for the title. He should have fought Caleb Truax, you know what I mean? Caleb Truax is fighting in the same card, but I don't understand why he's not fighting Caleb, you know what I mean? So I feel, I feel like that's a little disrespectful for Caleb Truax. Um, I really don't know who Fighting Boots is, so I think Caleb Plash, you know, he should take care of his business. Listen to me. <laughs> David, Benef- David Benavidez had a fight that was this close with Ronald Graville. He's a C-plus fighter. He also got dropped by Ronald Graville. What if I had a close fight like that with Ronald Graville? I would never hear the end of it. What if I got dropped by Ronald Graville? I would never hear the end of it. Then you got Callum Smith who gets booed in his hometown by getting a bad decision against a 5'9", John Ryder, a guy who's 5'9". Callum Smith is like 6'15". <laughs> <laughs> and he has a fight this close in his hometown where his home crowd's booing him. Then you have Billy Joe Saunders. Who did he win the world title against, Marcos? You don't know. What about the last guy that he fought where he had a, a, a bad showing against his uh, US debut? Who did he fight there? Okay, but you're a boxing guy. You know boxers, but you don't know who they are. <laughs> so these three other champs are having tough fights and bad showings against guys that they're supposed to be killing. And you got a guy like Jose who's supposed to kill me and I dog walk him. Mm. But I'm not the best 168 pounder. Walking God's green earth. Talk that talk. Those, uh, that, that, that's not, talk. I'm not, I'm not getting big headed. Those are facts. Did, did they have, all three of those guys have bad showings against guys they were supposed to kill? Yes? Yeah. Yes? Say for your video. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen me have a close fight yet Ooh. against quality guys? Maybe that's for a reason. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, we can all sit here and say all the things that sound good. But there's no lies in boxing. When that bell rings, the truth will come to light. So make sure you pay attention to the truth. Don't listen just to the hype. You know, you know what I want. I want big fights. I want tough guys. This guy was ranked number three in the world. Number one, and two, number one is vacant. Number two is vacant. Vincent was ranked number three in the world in the IBF. That's the belt that we fought for. He was my mandatory. If I didn't fight him, I would be stripped of my world title. That would be silly of me to do. I fought my mandatory. I won in fashion, and I'm ready for whoever's next.